Arkadaşlar kanalıma hoş geldiniz. Kolumu böyle gösteriyorum ki Cenk Hoca'nın kolunun yanında ezilmeyeyim diye malum tepeciğini biliyorsunuz. Hocam şimdi bugün Cenk Hoca ile beraber Amerika mı, İngiltere mi onu konuşacağız. Alright. Alright dedi. Hoca biliyorsunuz. Which one do you prefer? Turkish or English? İngilizce yapalım. Biz zaten bütün gün İngilizce konuşuyoruz aramızda. <gülüyor> Cenk Hoca ile bir sohbet ederken arkadaşlar normalde Türkçe falan başlıyoruz. Sonra bir anda sohbet İngilizceye kayıyor. Let's do this one in English and in your channel we can do Turkish maybe. Yeah, Alright? Yeah, Because yeah, you know... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to spend some time putting subtitles and shit. Right? I don't do that shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm going to spend some time putting subtitles for you guys. It's not a problem for me. So, my first question. You ever been to US? No, it's my dream. I'm going to come. Hopefully, right? hopefully in September This year, or right? October. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'll catch you in the US too. So, you lived in England for how long? All my life, man. I was I, I was born there. I grew up there. And about around the age of 28, I left and went to Cyprus. Okay. Arkadaşlar, şimdi... Biliyorsunuz ki yurt dışına çıktığınızda en çok en önemli olan şeylerden bir tanesi e, orada ne kadar para kazandınız ve ne kadar harcadınız. Şimdi şimdi bunu konuşacağız. Cenk hocam, what do you think of you know in US we have this student city where Harvard and MIT is. It's called Boston. That's where I live. And then when it comes to England, what do you think England's Boston? Which city would you think? Because he's from London. I mean, now that now that you said that, now that you said that, you got the Harvard. Is Harvard in Boston? Yes, yeah? Harvard and MIT. Then I'm gonna say that. Then I'm gonna say that your Boston is our Cambridge. Cambridge. Yeah, because okay. we got the Cambridge University. Uh huh. You know, Oxford's a little bit more smaller. We got Oxford as well. All right. But yeah, I mean, Boston is a relatively well, compared to all the other. It's, it's a big city. It is. It but, is. Um, It's not like one of the major ones in America, is it? No. Like, it's not. So you got a lot of Irish in Boston too, right? We do. We do. Yeah. We have Charlestown. There was a movie. I forgot the movie's name. In Charlestown, this Irish town. And then when it's St. Patrick's Day, Jesus fucking Christ, they closed down the whole South Boston. Right. They have such a big parade. Yeah, man. So Cambridge. Şimdi İngiltere'nin Boston'ı Cambridge dedik. Amerika'nın Boston'ı kıyaslayacağız. Şimdi, let's say. I'm going to Cambridge, okay? I want to move there. Let's say I went with tourist visa, work visa, whatever. First thing I want to do is I want to rent a place, right? One bedroom apartment. I want first I want to learn one bedroom apartment, two bedroom apartment and how about if I like share a room with someone like, you know, roommate I mean, situation. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. Okay. I mean, I've never lived in Cambridge, so I could I could I could tell you the prices of London. But all I know is that Cambridge is going to be a little bit more cheaper than London. More cheaper than It's London. It's going to be more okay. cheaper than London. So we're going to minus like 20% maybe. Something like that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, a one bedroom flat in London, depending on where you're located, if the more central you the more central you are, uh -huh. the more higher it goes up. Of course, up. of course. Yeah. So, I mean, answer, a one bedroom would probably be approximately about 1,000, 1,200 pound a month. 1,200. And let's say I went there. Şimdi içimizden biri için konuşuyorum mesela benim için de bu çoğu konuda geçerli. Oraya gittim ve hiçbir yeteneğim yok. Ama ben meslek mezunuyum mesela. Herhangi böyle bir mesleğim yok. Mühendis, doktor, avukat bir şey değilim. Ve onları olsanız bile oranın vatandaş olana kadar, oranın çalışma izni, oturma izni alana kadar zaten hani size kimse geldi uçak mühendisliğini burada devam ettir demiyor. Senin çünkü çalışma oturma iznin yok. Böyle bir durumda. Okay, let's, let's say I went there and I want to do the um, jobs that requires no skills. Like minimum wage. How much I make? Don't forget, 1200 is what we're gonna pay for one bedroom. I mean, no skills. Minimum wage is about 10 pound an hour. Um, you know, roughly depending on the job that you're doing, okay. you'll be getting roughly between 10 to 15 pounds an hour with no skills. No skills. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you know, you could be making 80 to 100 pound a day. Okay. Let's say you make um, 80 pounds a day and then you work like um, 24 days, right? Or 25, let's say you work 30 days, no day off. Make it easier. 30 days from 80, you make 2400. So yeah. half of it goes to rent right away, right. right? Let me ask this too, because it's not all about like numbers. Let me ask this too. How easy to work in London if you are illegal? I mean, not like like illegally legal, but you don't have work authorization. Maybe you have tourist visa. Maybe uh, you have student yeah. visa. Well, you if know? you're if you're Turkish, then um, you will find somebody tur like Turkish businesses, like okay. supermarkets, restaurants, okay. maybe some factories or industrial stuff, uh -huh, industrial uh -huh. things. You can work for them. 
but <laughs> they will underpay you. They will. That's make, what I was going to yeah, ask. Yeah, they will underpay you and they will overwork you. All right, and um, this is it. You know, it's basically it's basically a quick, cheap way to have a slave. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's what I, the people that got no skills and they go to foreign countries, right, with no real plans, no real skills. That's what I was saying. You know, don't go without plan. You know, you got no plan, you got no skill. You just uh, you just want a job as a waiter or something. You know. You don't know anybody. You don't know anybody. You might as well just stay in Turkey, bro, because <laughs> because um, you're gonna be worse off. You're gonna be worse off. Sana bir şey diyeyim mi? Zaten bunu ben söylesem, şu an beni var ya tepe koyup çala taşlarlar buradan. Videodan taş atarsınız Türkiye'de kalın desem. Amerika'ya gittin gelmemesi bak adam söyledi benlik bir şey yok. Ben bir şey ağzımı açmıyorum. Şimdi merak ettiğim bir başka konu daha var. Hem çalışmanın zorluğunu sordum. Türk restoranlarında, Türk Amerika'da da aynı Türk restoranlarında falan çalışabiliyorsunuz. Tam şunu diyecektim ki hani orada da sizi ezerler mi? Amerika'da çünkü Türk restorana gittiysen ve çalışma izni yoksa Adam direkt sırtına biniyor senin. Orada binerlerim diyecektim. Ben söylemeden zaten söyledi. Şimdi 2400 pound'un 1200'ü kiraya giriyor. So let me tell you about Boston. In Boston, if you want to rent a one bedroom apartment, you gotta pay 2000 dollars. Like literally, maybe 1800, I could say 15, 20 minutes from downtown. But it works out roughly the same. Yeah. It works out roughly the same, right? Right, and then when it comes to making money, you have no skills, don't have work authorization, so you make like fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, with fifteen dollars, right, right, that's ten pounds. Yeah, ten again, pounds, ten pound. Yeah. So when it comes to it, you make four thousand dollars a month, and half of it goes to rent right away. Yeah. But let's say in um, Cambridge or twenty minutes from London, doesn't matter. Let's say I just want to rent a one room, one small room in like five bedroom apartment. There's like four other yeah. roommates. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. There's websites for it, right? Yeah, man. I'm I mean, there's, there's, there's, there's, there's, there's, there's a lot of advertisements and mm -hmm. stuff for it. Google but... room in London, yeah, room yeah. in Cambridge, yeah, exactly. I mean, yeah. That how much? Be... How much would it be? Uh, this would be between 600 to 800. 600, 800. 600 is usually uh, they give you internet. No, sorry, they they they they they say to you you have to pay your own electricity and blah okay. blah blah. Okay, bills Some, not included. Yeah, bills not. Yeah, bills not. Bills included for one bedroom. Sometimes it's like about 850, 800, and you know, mm -hmm. it depends on depends on the room, depends on the house, okay. depends on the area. But uh, the average is that. that. Mm -hmm. Arkadaşlar, bu e, kamu spotunu verelim. Yani dünyanın neresine giderseniz gidin, tanıdığınız biri plan. Ve herhangi bir yeteneğiniz yoksa ezileceksiniz. Bu 2, 2 daha 4. Bir süre en azından ezileceksiniz. Buna katlanmanız lazım. Ondan sonra sizin mücadele gücünüze bağlı. Okay, we talked about rent. We talked about how much you make. What about groceries? A single man. Let's say he cooks all of his meals at home. I heard the groceries are very cheap in England when, it com when you compare with the US. There's cheap supermarkets. We have these low budget supermarkets. Uh -huh. You know, like... Um... Audi and Lidl, like these German yeah. ones, you know. We have Audi in, in US too, I think. Price right, Audi, they're cheap. Yeah, they're cheap. They're kind uh -huh. of like budget stuff. Um, okay. You know, of course, if you go and you buy your meat, your chickens and all that, like, mm -hmm. like in bulk, if you, you're going to save a lot more money. How much do you think you stayed alone too, right? Of course. So of course. how much you'd spend a week, weekly groceries? Bütün yemeklerinizi evde falan yaptığınızı varsayıyorum yani şu anda. I mean, to be honest with you, bro, uh -huh. I was only eating like once a day when I was in England and working. <laughs> I was Yo, eating, you've I been was, living that immigrant and, and, lifestyle, and, and, huh? Bro, and I was, I had a pretty skilled job too, so I was like making money as well, but... Not spending any? That was, no, no, no, no, because I had to send that money back home. Of course, yeah. You understand? So I was just like, I cut out everything. A lot of people doing that. Indians, Jamaicans, they, they don't eat anything. They make all that money. They save it, they save it, they save it, they, they build a house back in India or Jamaica. When I was younger, uh -huh. and I used to live in England, all right, I used to spend a lot of money on myself. A lot of steaks, protein, supplements, uh -huh. this, that. I was into my bodybuilding thing mm -hmm. back then. And like most of my money was going on... Yeah, nutrition, nutrition, yeah, yeah. all that shit, but... Now, because of responsibilities, I have to think about other people, you know, that's why I just like... You know, I'll just be eating sandwiches and like little microwave foods that you just uh -huh. buy. Really so cheap. you spend like probably 30 pounds a week, 30, 40 pounds a week if you eat just microwave shit. Yeah, yeah, something like that, man. <laughs> I mean, yeah. 
I mean, if I, I could go to a restaurant and blow that in, in one, one day, of course, yeah, of yeah, course. easy. And when it comes to restaurant, let's say I went to a restaurant and then I want to eat a, like a okay plate, not perfect luxury restaurant, but not like shitty McDonald's or Burger King, okay plate. How much would I pay? About 15 pounds. 15 pounds? Yeah. Amerika ile kafa kafaya gidiyor ya. Mesela 15 pound öder diyor. Boston'da da mesela bu 22-23 dolara güzel bir tabak yersiniz Boston'da. Şimdi grocery'e geldiği zaman 30 pound ile mesela yaparım diyor. Ben abi zaten 30 dolarla 40 dolarla mesela o microwave olaylarını yaparım. Yeah. Ama ben I do spend like 150 a week on groceries. Yeah. Only for myself. Yeah. Eggs, like um, chicken, rice and then like so we all like let's say we are four people right. We buy every single week. We spend six hundred dollars. Yeah. I spend six hundred. Next week, my Franco spends six hundred. Six hundred. So every week, we spend one fifty. But we don't eat sandwiches. We don't eat microwave food. So if you like, you know, um, feed yourself with like some bullshit, then you can save a lot of money. So after that, say um, there is a guy right now watching us, and then says, "Economy is very bad in Turkey. He can't make any money." As we all know, you know. You're not saying you're not saying anything against it. It's like fucked up. And he wants to go to London. He wants to go to England. Do you think it's a smart move? I think he should try. Hundred percent. It's not as easy as it was before, right? 2020, 2018. Like with the like, uh, we have this deal with like um, Ankara, Ankara Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. with that one, a lot of people went. I think it was worth a shot. I do still think that you should try. And if it doesn't work. Turkey's always here. Come back. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. I mean, you could try, but uh, there's a few things that you have to take into consideration when okay. you're going to go there. We had this conversation earlier on. It's the mindset, yeah? If you're going with a mindset that you just go in there to get by and you're not thinking big, you're going to struggle more than you are in Turkey. Yeah. Because yeah? most people in Turkey, at least they grow up, somewhere to stay they got their mums and dads or relatives or their friends yeah you know they got something but when you're in london and, and, you, and you're all alone and and you just got a, all you want is a job just to get by a job you know what a job means j-o-b just over broke <laughs> all right if you got make that, enough to starve yourself yeah bro it's basically that's what it is modern day slavery and if you're gonna have the mind of a slave, you're gonna be a slave wherever you go, whatever part of the world. Now, is there rich people in Turkey? Hell yeah, there's rich people in Turkey. Is there people making money in Turkey? Hell yeah, you know? Um, is there poverty in England? Is there poverty in America? Yes. yes, there is poverty in England. Yes, there is poverty in America. So what does this show you? This shows you Right? It's not the actual country itself, it's the actual mindset of the people. What I'm saying is, that's the difference though. I gotta give them that. So let's say in Turkey somebody works real hard, right? Saves up, um, let's say 30% of his income. Let's say he makes 20K, 30%, 6K a month he's saving. What is 6K? Like 150 pounds, right? 150 pounds, something like that. Or like $200, let's say, let's say. But in UK, or US, if somebody works hard and saves 30% of his income, which is $1,200 in US, which is 1,000 pounds in um, England, then that money, still nothing in those countries, but when you come to here, if you can save up, if you want to open a business, open a business. That's how I've done it. That's how I, you know, yeah. I open my gym. That's you still how... have advantage in that field, I think. You still have, have advantage. Son olarak sormak istediğim şey de arkadaşlar şu araba ve gaz fiyatları. Çünkü Boston'da zaten biliyorsun her zaman söylüyorum. Güzel bir araba almak istiyorsan atıyorum 4 bin dolara, 5 bin dolara giden eli yüzü düzgün, otomatik 2010'larda falan 150-200 binde bir araba alırsın. 300 binde belki bir araba alırsın. Yani araba gider ama. Hani istediğin başlatır seni. In UK, how much do you think you have to spend your car? To like a decent car, let's call it. You know. I mean, in England, like cars, are, years, cars are quite cheap. I mean, if you get, you, I mean, you could get a good 10, 10, 15 year old Mercedes or a BM in good condition yeah. for about five hundred pounds. Five hundred pounds? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You could buy really. It. Oh yeah, fifteen year. I saw a friend of mine buy a. I saw a friend of mine buy a, a like fifteen year old Mercedes convertible for a thousand pounds. Thousand pounds, Jesus yep. Christ! But you, maybe your car has some problems. No there. man, it had no problems whatsoever. It's just that when they get old. The price just drops, Goes drops, down. drops, drops, drops, drops, drops. 
because they're all, you know, they're so. So 2009, 2008 BMWs, Mercedes, like in US, probably like 3,000, 4,000 you can buy. It's even cheaper in England. I think European cars are cheaper in England. I think European yeah. cars are cheaper in England. Obviously, American cars uh -huh. are cheaper in America. Of course, yeah. Uh, Japanese cars, they're probably roughly the same. Mm -hmm. What um, about the gas prices? It's about £1.50 to the litre. £1.50? Yeah. So, uh, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, for example, uh, um, fuel have always been more cheaper in America. Mm -hmm. That's why they got these big engine muscle like, yeah. cars, guzzling petrol, uh -huh. guzzling cars. Everybody's you know? using the big trucks yeah, and stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're all petrol, whereas in, you know. But now, now they, now they're putting electricity is a new thing now. Now, mm -hmm. now people are trying to go electrical. But, um, 27 minutes, Jesus Christ! What do we talk about in 27 minutes? I, have I don't no know. No idea, remember. man. That's just fucking long, bro. <laughs> Yes, just okay. They, they, they probably so fell asleep I, the problem is, I never been in England, and he has never been in US. Mm. So you only talk about England. I only talk about US. Yeah. I want to come from to England. So far, from what it sounds, it sounds very similar. Yeah, it is similar. It's Always so, has been, bro. Always has been. Let's see. We're gonna do um, bir tane daha video yapacağız. Onda Cenk Hoca'nın kanalını atacağız. O videoyu izlemek için Cenk Hoca'nın kanalına abone olmayı unutmayın dostlar. Videonun altına kanalı koyacağım. O zaman sizin kanalda görüşmek üzere diyelim hocam. Peace. Hmm. That was good, huh?